Holler if you hear me, and welcome to this edition of Luke Flips, because there's another little ditty going on that involves a little show by the name of Velma. The show that, yes, of course, is now the lowest rated IMDb anything adaptation-wise, lower than Dragon Ball Evolution. I previously mentioned that it has a lower IMDb user rating than Zat, the god-awful movie where a man who is turns himself into part uh, catfish uh, starts attacking jacksonville florida and smashes up a pharmacy well now you see people that are so desperate to try and defend velma that the rap.org now has some clickbait article out there trying to say the 127 plus spike in demand uh, all across social media proves that the negativity around velma is false and there is such a major demand for the show of course, when you actually look into the real thing behind it, and what is their source? That's always what you got to say when you see some garbage defense or deflection of towards what's going on in the world or something that the left does not want to hear. You know, when it comes to the, this is the media equivalent of the political thing going on with Joe Biden and his documents. Oh, hey, hey, no, 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 don't, don't talk about, no, 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 no Biden, or, or, oh, no, you don't understand what that Biden, hey, look at this, look at this instead. It's, oh, no, Velma's not a com complete piece of crap that is less respectful to its source material than any Scooby-Doo porno parody ever made. There is Rule 34 fan art of Scooby-Doo that is more faithful to the source material than what Velma is. But look at this. There is such a high demand on social media and talk and the audience score. And what is their source behind this crap? It is uh, Parrot Analytics. And what they are is their little, of course, analytics site that what they use is simply counting up any time the show is mentioned across any social media platform. Of course, uh, just taking raw mentions of it across Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever, instead of having it in actual context of positive or negative. So that could mean that, yes, Velma is getting a lot of traction in social media. There are a lot of content creators out there talking about it. There's a lot of people just on social media on their Facebook page, ask, you know, writing out what they want to say about it, what they think about it. They may not be content creators, but they just have an opinion and they'll, you know, briefly talk talk about it and then they'll go back to posting photos of you know their grandkids or uh, a bunny costume they wore one year at, during Easter but what the asswipes of parent analytics of course are not having any specific context and just bringing up those raw mentions so you could have all that traffic out there which is in the same way that there was a lot of pre-release hype around the movie Waterworld which was such a reviled movie before it even was released in theaters that people were booing anybody that went to go see that movie in any multiplex, any megaplex, whatever, because there was just so much negativity behind the film with its premise being mocked. And then there was all the production problems that were getting posted all over national news to the point where, and this was before social media. This is when Entertainment Tonight was just a little thing on a network. This was stuff that was getting reported about in local and national news reports 2020, the night news and then all the major networks were breaking reports about the production problems of Waterworld. So people were already hating the movie beforehand. It was the 2015 Fantastic Four of its day or the Velma of its day. But in this day and age, the way that Parrot Analytics works, all that pre-release hype talking about Waterworld and then all the people talking about it when the movie came out to shit on it, they would have taken all of those mentionings, all of those descriptions, and would have just said, hey, they're talking about Waterworld, so that must mean, oh, the hype around Waterworld, there's so much demand for it, it's getting so popular, uh, and everybody talking about it. No, they're not. They're talking about it to rip it apart savagely. And then when you look at the actual ratings for it, you see, oh, yeah, you also have to lie about that in the same way because you lied about it being the biggest HBO Max cartoon ever. But once again, let's go over the qualifiers. It was the biggest, oh, first episode viewing figures for an HBO Max original cartoon. Yes, the first episode, biggest first episode for an original cartoon show on HBO Max. So that's three qualifiers you got right there. All right, it ain't even going to come close to the ratings that The Simpsons were getting back in 1991. Let alone hell, the ratings for the shitty-ass Simpsons nowadays where they spent the last 20 years screaming at the audience to be more like Lisa. That gets more positive traction than what Velma is getting, or of course what they'll ever get. The only real, this is another one of those productions where, woke or not, this is the rare example of a show that is actually uniting the super blue hairs who will defend anything that does not violate their precious little 
brain dead worldview and anybody out there who either is really right wing or just is so goddamn sick of everything being woke that they're going to go and give a nice big one finger salute to the likes of that or of uh, modern Marvel Studios productions, whether it be She-Hulk or the Eternals or anything else that pertains to this garbage. And you want to know why? Well, take a good long look. Look at the actual ratings for Vilma and compare that on the same format. Let's specifically keep it on the same platform as HBO Max as we have with them, we have with everything else. And recently there was the premiere for The Last of Us. Yes, the big pilot episode, which has actually been getting positive traction from people, although online, I bet you the way that the parrot analytics are, they would rather not talk about or not hype up the likes of The Last of Us show actually having its pilot get positively received in favor of continuing to try and excuse Velma. Because, well, apparently they're just the sheer raw numbers of The Last of Us 2's positive traction and actual ratings in just basic raw ratings where you're not going to compare it to an original HBO Max cartoon show. You're going to compare it to any other programming that HBO has ever aired. All the way back to the days of The Hitchhiker in the mid-80s, which was HBO's first original piece of programming. Long before Tales from the Crypt, they launched their original programming with an anthology show before that. That, that wouldn't matter to them. They purposely don't want to talk about that stuff because then they don't have an ability to make an excuse for themselves. And when you look at this rap.org article talking about how the circulation online for Velma is so much more than the negativity you're hearing, yeah, notice the jackass lady who is not talented enough to be hired on the writing staff of She Hulk who wrote this clickbait crap. You go there and you click on her name in that article and you see. All these other articles on that website that are all sponsored by Parrot Analytics. So now you understand just exactly why this lady would be saying that. It's almost as if you get some kind of online articles or some kind of you know website for a newspaper that is shitting all over some topic or another, like this garbage clickbait Punisher article I saw from The Guardian. And hey, The Guardian, we're putting a stink piece out against a comic book character who kills criminals and likes to use guns. And oh yeah, what kind of constituents they have? What kind of funds? Who are their, uh, who are the money makers behind them? Oh yeah, the kind of asswipes who are on the UK side of cheering on shit like Black Lives Matter and Antifa. So no wonder they're going to go and try to lie to you about the Punisher's decline. Yeah, um... Eat broken glass and then step in front of the path of a speeding nitro truck with a driver that's smoking while he's driving. All right, asswipe. Okay. Yeah, complete waste of life. Well, that's the sort of shit they do. It's the, this is the left, when I said before about it's whether it's entertainment crap or if it's in politics, they'll do everything they can to skew the numbers to try to tell you what they want. What this is, what this rap what, uh, article is with the uh, paranalytics about it, it's the same garbage equivalent to all of that Hillary won the popular vote bullshit. Yeah, with the freakishly abnormal number of DNC uh, Hillary votes coming out of the state of California with legalized ballot harvesting not to mention the massive amount of illegals they have in there, who, for all we know, they could be voting seven times, or, of course, the legally dead somehow climbing out of their grave to vote Democrat, not just in California, but also in my own state of Michigan, yes, and other states that have turned themselves into being glorified bluebergs, blue states, for blue police states would be more accurate in spite of how much they wanted to fund the police for um, pretty much exclusively they've been since the 1960s. And then you wonder why you get all these garbage votes from all these districts or all these states that would gladly drink their own piss if they thought it would keep them in line with the worldview of the government of Venezuela. Yes, Venezuela, the country where the only vibrant job market there is to kidnap the family of the Troy Tiger star from Venezuela, Mikel Cabrera, and hold his family for ransom so you can afford to have one chicken for dinner in your entire month. Which is not that dissimilar from the diet that the asswipes that have been defending Velma on social media just because, or getting some garbage little clickbait article check for it to write on the wrap or somewhere else. Or, of course, it's not a, although those are few and far between because it's not a good sign where even Forbes are a source that are bringing up articles that are mentioning the tweets where even the blue hairs with the 17 different slurpy hair colors and the side shaves and the garbage degree from Berkeley or NYU or Cal Arts are talking about how they hate the show so much that they think it's a 
it's it's a deadpan satire or some kind of a right wing psyop to try to make the left look bad. You know, there is actually one difference between this bullshit analytics about uh, the Velma and uh, people who voted Hillary is that unlike what Hillary would have done, Velma actually has accomplished something in terms of uniting the left and the right for a common cause of thinking that this show is pro- is the most supreme abomination against nature until the next supreme abomination against nature that makes you look at porno parodies and give them a little bit more respect since they actually give the source material more respect. Look at your average Axel Braun produced porno parody of a Marvel movie and you see actresses who are not only more athletic and convincing in starring roles, but also actually are looking and acting more comic book accurate than what you're ever going to see out of the likes of Scarlett Johansson or Brie Larson or the cheap a little broad city staff writer idiots that are going to be replacing them in upcoming productions and that's not my opinion I know I'm right I thank you all for watching subscribe if you're new check that you're still subscribed if you're returning and my channel still is not monetized so the only way you can support my work is to shop at my square store where pen and ink art is 25 color art is 30 sketchbooks are 25 commissions and color are 60 pen and ink commissions are 50 or trading card commissions are 20. And those are all the items you'll see last in my drawings categories, illustrations categories, or in my posters slash trading cards category, where the posters are 200 and the trading cards are 10. And whatever you buy only comes with a flat $5 shipping and handling fee. And you can also go and simply make a donation of whatever dollar amount you'd like. Donations are the first item in the store. And they are also accepting any denomination from around the world. So if you live outside of America and you want to buy a commission, my store can't receive orders from U.S. address from foreign addresses. So you're going to have to go and make your purchase or your donation or your commission via a donation. Add up what you want U.S. dollars, including another 25 U.S. for the international shipping fee. Make the donation. Your items will ship. And I also have a Streamlabs link below where you can donate there. So until then, thank you all for watching. And remember, felines, slam it, lick it, suck it, and see you, Space Cowboy.